gentlemen, it's time to talk about smallpox. Oh, God. You ready? Uh, That's so dark. I had to ask you what the division's disease was before we went live because I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think it's smallpox. They mentioned it's some it. yeah. variation it or like, Black you know, they made some weird disease. I'm pretty sure it's kind of what happened. They, they engineered something yeah. is what happened, right? Black and Friday disease. Yeah, sure. Greed. Probably mm. some acronym for it. H1Z1. And H1. <laughs> that's a video game. That's a real H1N1. And that's the bird flu, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I think so. Swine, swine flu. flu. Oh, bird flu. I don't know. I get my flus mixed yes, up all the time. Yes, is the one that'll like murder you. <laughs> yeah, I had swine yeah. flu. It's, it's pretty. It's not that bad. Just a Do really bad flu, right? Yeah. yeah, it's not even. Yeah, it was more like head. Mm. I was. I felt like I was off my face for about two days. Oh. but I wasn't like getting sick or anything. It was just like, ooh, two oh. days off work. Cool. It was great. I called up NHS Direct, which is like the UK's like when you're sick you call them mm-hmm. thing, and they were like, stay at home. I was like, <laughs> what? Like, should I go to the hospital? And they were like, no, I don't go to the hospital because you'll infect everyone there. <laughs> stay at home. <laughs> if it gets really bad, let us know. We're like, All right. So I sat at home played video games for 24 hours. Marked your cool. house and like, all right, there's a guy <laughs> in that house that has, if anything happens, we know it's because of that guy. Yeah, exactly. You just draw like, like a pig snout on your front door <laughs> and then you're done. Anyway, let's talk about The Division. Sweet. Came out last week. Yep. I wasn't here. No. Nope. Y'all made a bunch of videos about it. Great yep. job. Thanks. That game looks okay. Yeah, depending on which version <laughs> you're it's it's actually pretty amazing if you... If you've looked at the three versions, like Xbox One is probably by right. like easily by far the worst. And it's then not like, gonna add in that rabbit hole. I, I can just see the YouTube thumbs this. downs just <laughs> yeah. coming in already. Right. Uh, so I want to talk to you about a bunch of stuff. Obviously, we we talked about it on for a lot last week, but there's two kind of things I want to talk about. We'll talk about the PvP stuff in a little bit. Sure. But first of all, uh, I want to float this idea where we have a bunch of people who work here in the office who mm. have been playing Destiny for ever since it came out every expansion pack we we go back in and we sort of talk about it uh, and we've posed a lot of like is x game better than destiny stuff all the time sure. and it gets really trite and whatnot but i genuinely want to ask a question about if the division has sort of like in its launch and in the type of gameplay it has if it's like learned from sort of some of destiny's shortcomings uh, because this is a game that i've been playing only for about two days i wasn't really into the alpha very much but I'm really enjoying this game. The game, I think, maybe the difficulty balance for the alpha was a set a little bit too easy or something, and I, I wasn't finding it challenging. But for whatever reason, I'm really enjoying this game solo in a way I never played Destiny. So mm. I want to pose this to you guys. You play a lot of Destiny, right? Yeah. Back now, and I know Eric. You obviously yeah. play a lot of Destiny as well. So have you had this experience at all that like you're enjoying this game more or less, or it's it's providing you more of a I don't know, an interesting palette of world to play in, and does that even matter to you? So, if we're going to compare it to, like, Destiny and my experience, like, ver- vice versa, or whatever, um, once you hit the end game, it's very different from early, right? Early to middle, because I was playing early to middle with Rob and or Solo, and it was fun, mm. because, you know, you're doing story, you're doing campaign, and um, that stuff's better than what launch Destiny was, but when you hit end game and you start having to, you know, grind out the dark zone or do really hard missions that you can't do solo, I really miss like all my Destiny friends. I'm playing oh, really? on Xbox One right now. I, you know, I don't know as many people on Xbox One. I did that because I know that the DLC is coming out sooner, and so it'll be better for content for us. And I don't want to level again on PS4. So that crossplay stuff might actually be good. <laughs> However, uh, just getting to the end game, I'm just like, man, I really this sucks playing solo. Like, I don't want to do this any, like, really anymore. Uh, it's more motivating when you're playing with a group, even if it's not your friends necessarily, to, you know, you communicate. You're like, okay, it's such a huge thing because that's what the skills are for. You know, like, I'm going to use my ultimate now or, like, I'm going to put pulse up or, all right, let's use the marker in five. It's going to count down five seconds. All right, we're going to hit that target all at the same time. You know, like, there's that communication. When you're playing kind of by yourself, it's like, eh, and the matchmaking, yeah, it's albeit it's good because you can matchmake with other people, but you don't get that same camaraderie. You don't get the yeah. communication, and then it just like falls apart. And for me, that experience, at least end game, isn't as fun, I guess. But then again, I had a group in Destiny, so who knows? I might not have. I, if I was playing by myself in Destiny, who knows? I might have fell off yeah. too. Right? That's like that's literally the reason why I stopped playing. It was because I just didn't find it fun as a single player game. And I've not played that much of the division. I, you know, I've, I've heard that it gets more challenging and that you really want to squad up later on. Uh, but from what I've been playing so far, I've been like doing hard missions and, and really enjoying it. Uh, let's speak a little bit about the world, because I feel like that's another aspect that I wasn't so much into with Destiny, that obviously the story got stripped out of it. We realized, you know, six months later that it had been completely pulled out and they basically like rejigged the game together. And that's mm. why it felt so 
you know, uncohesive or whatever. Um, the division, the story, you can sort of take or leave. I think feel, but like the world itself, the detail in the world, the world they've built, all those little like flashback things you can sort of dive into. It feels like there's a a lot there to explore. Have you been enjoying that at all, Mike? Yeah, that's the main draw for me there. Uh, maybe it's just because you know Destiny's sci-fi. It's not something I can relate to immediately. But like I know, like Pete and Alexa are both from around New York as well, right? And. I was playing with Jake and Justin last weekend, and I pulled up the map, and I was like, where, where are we right now? I was like, oh, we're on, like, 34th and 9th. I was like, I lived, like, three blocks from here. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a one-to-one -one scale, and it's not going to look the same, but it was still really cool because it did feel like New York, and then you, you go through the village, and the Christmas lights are still up, right. and there are all these, like, little stories you see in the world that there's, it's, there's not a lot of exposition with those ones, but it's still there for you to find if you're looking for it. And that goes a long way to help me in most games. Mm. You know, like The Witcher does a great job of it. You know, the Elder Scrolls games do a good job of that. But that's what's really pushing me forward here. And it, I really, really just, I love how the tone of it and uh, just how it's, it feels like really lonely, the city at the same time. But, it, mm. but at the same time, you're playing with other people and you're kind of just going through these alleyways. Like, again, not necessarily that the same as what I've experienced, but it's a really alluring on just that, like, environmental like tonal sense and I'm, I'm really enjoying that aspect for sure yeah i've done a lot of like wandering off the beaten path recently where i just said oh i just pick a part on the map and kind of go over there and see what i run into and i mean most of the side quests they're pretty repetitive it's a lot of, yeah, like they're all the same yeah hostages Similar, and whatnot yeah. but there's still something about it i don't know just like wandering around and seeing like life just kind of happening that you wouldn't have noticed you, you might not have ever seen you might not have ever gone over there um, that I'm really enjoying. Again, maybe I just haven't played enough of it. You're not getting tired of this whole snowy, the same though. You getting sick of the snow? It's just this, like all the like. Yeah, some of the buildings are different, but just in terms of like running around the world, everything kind of looks similar, other than the day night cycle, which mm -hmm. kind of like tricks you a little bit in in terms of like what you see. But I don't know. I'm kind of over the division world as it is. <laughs> what What do you think about the the upgrade loop that they've? put in because in a way it's con well i guess it's not similar in that way to destiny but destiny had a sort of hub little area mm -hmm. that you go back to a lot um obviously in the division that takes place as your also your upgrade tree i guess um how have you been enjoying that aspect of like upgrading the, the very is that basically the crux of the game as you're playing is like upgrading your your base and clearing out all those missions i mean upgrading the base is definitely important in the long run because unlocking certain buildings will give you a lot of good talents, a lot of good perks, especially the $1,000 uh, one, mm. because that one gives you your ultimate skill, which is, like, really clutch. It, I mean, it's cool to see how the headquarters change, changes as well when you kind of upgrade it all the way. I wouldn't say it's what the end game is. That's just part of the end game. The real end game is just min-maxing your gear, and that's really it. It's like a loot, it's like a loot chase, really. It's more almost like Diablo right. than anything else. Like it's, there's so many kind of similar mechanics. Like you're just farming for loot, you're trying to upgrade your loot, Isn't you're trying Destiny to craft well, your though? loot. Like you're trying to yeah. you're rolling the dice for loot in that sort of wow raidy kind of way. Yeah, but like Destiny, like you had the raid, right? And the raid was kind of like the end game thing that you did to try to acquire that loot. There isn't I mean no in the division, there like you still do dark zone and you kind of get that stuff, but there isn't like really that tier of um, gameplay yet, yeah. yet uh, that you do that you're like, okay, this is the thing I am striving and getting all my gear for to then do something harder to get the best gear in the game. Mm. Right now, it's just you're trying to make the best ga gear in the game almost, or hope that it drops, which yeah. is like weird. Don't you get someone later in the division that kind of functions like a uh, Godala, the Enchantress in Diablo? Yeah, so she, uh, you get a recalibrating station in uh, in the headquarters after yeah. you uh, upgrade a tech wing, and that lets you kind of roll stats on your gear to like really min max cater to the build you're gonna make. You can make like a full support build and have like nothing but electronics, or you can right. try to go super tanky and go all stamina. And that is that was super late game. You, when is that gonna kick in? You can get that earlier. It's just like kind of not worth it till like later to later parts of the game because you don't really need to min max as much until right. later in the game like i feel at least i would say spend more time playing the game mm -hmm. than doing that stuff because you're going to replace that stuff you know what i mean it's there for when you hit or get close to 30 and you're like okay this backpack's really good but this stat really sucks but i could change that one thing and you're like okay i'm going to change that mm -hmm. one thing so that's kind of like those are the rpg ish type mechanics and i i find that cool that's like the coolest thing for me but to do all that stuff you need to have like credits and materials and yeah, that's the that's stuff you have to grind you know uh the fork 67 says greenwich isn't in the game mike 
Christmas. Oh, it's go. not? Apparently. That's not where the Christmas lights are. All right. But there's Christmas oh, lights somewhere else. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, Game Delay says, I'm loving the story. NPCs, both main uh, friendlies and major enemies seem like real people. This is the weirdest thing about this game, <laughs> is that they kind of do seem like real people. And I feel like this like government asshole who's literally murdering people for looting. <laughs> it's like the weird... Like, I'm kind of like... I think I was more critical of that when I played the Alpha, and I was like, oh, this game's not as realistic as, like, I would hope when I see the words Tom goddamn Clancy put on a game, like, mm -hmm. as somebody who loves, like, Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon, and even Advanced Warfighter, like, had an element of realism. Mm -hmm. But now I don't really care. But it is funny <laughs> that, you're, like, you're, I was, Aaron was making a good point. You find somebody who's, like, looting a dead body, mm -hmm. right? So they, you didn't even see them kill that person. Yeah. And you go up there, and you fucking ice them, and then you loot their bodies. There's, like, there's no morality in Plus, this they're, situation. They're rioters, okay, Nanny? Rioters. The vision agents need to clear protest. these people out. They're bad people. These cleaners, these rioters, these look, rikers, we got to get rid of them. They got good leads. Hey, look, the rikers are like ex-cons, right? And yeah, that's true. And then there's dudes who are going around with fucking flamethrowers. Like, they need to go. But just like poor people in hoodies, I keep murdering what I think are just lower-class New Yorkers. Like, that's what this game... Like, the... <laughs> Cleaning out the Lower East Side. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, Which isn't in the hey game man, video right. games. <laughs> they see you, they point the gun. What are you going to do? You're going to let them shoot you? No, Jeez. right? Well, also another <laughs> weird disconnect is when you rescue hostages, you unlock the door and you go in. Yeah. And then you find like three shotguns in the room. You're like, <laughs> are you really hostages at that point? You couldn't... <laughs> Or, organize some yeah. sort of coup. <laughs> or or uh, when you give an uh, energy bar or a, or a soda to a civilian in yeah. need, and they're like, oh, here, have a pistol. Like, <laughs> you, so you didn't need this pistol to survive this post-apocalyptic world. Part, you just need a soda. Oh, my, okay. my favorite part is they don't even give it to you. They just drop it on the ground. They're yeah. like, there you go. You got to pick that up. Yeah, pick that <laughs> up as a pistol. It's crazy. So it's the only difference between civilians and the bad guys in this game is that they have their hoods down. Because <laughs> everyone's got at least, like... A parka on. Uh, well, the cleaners have like masks and stuff, right? And uh, <laughs> well, yeah, the just they, the regular Gen Pop, ninety-nine percent hoodlums. Yeah, I guess that's regular true. people. They have some type of headgear. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's just, just some I kid guess. in a slip-on hoodie. He's just gonna get iced because he's <laughs> it's cold out, and he's like, <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> <laughs> smallpox, motherfucker. <laughs> Video games are great. Uh, they gotta rise up, man. Shot than have smallpox. <laughs> really? Do you know what smallpox? No, I won't get into That's it. It's just, gross. Yeah, I don't want to tell me what smallpox uh, do. You want to? Oh, sorry. So uh, <laughs> we were talking in uh, some sort of history class way back in the day, okay. and uh, my teacher was like, Disease "There's a reason the class. world banded together to get rid of this." And then uh, apparently, it would just <laughs> if you were lying in a bed, your skin would become so covered in like pus and boils uh, that it would like mesh with the uh, sheets. So when you roll over, it'll just like uh, tear off. Mm. So that's why smallpox was such a huge deal. Like you did not want it. So don't go out on Black Friday. Don't. <laughs> what we're saying. Stay away from New York. Just, just yeah. Just err on the side of caution. Thanks. Who knows? Maybe soft might Thanks do some that. viral marketing Jesus. campaign, which might go wrong next year. Some division expansion. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>